get the start on a uh, Pokemon Stadium. And we are gonna go with the double Sheik, and I'm not sure who's Bird and who is not, and who's player four. So I'll just pretend like I'll just say them both. I won't say them. Uh, let's see here. We got the Roy Charizard combination, which they did not play at all in Losers Finals. They did Toon League Charizard until the uh, the Falcon quadruple Falcon fight. So. We'll have to see, I think, I don't know, I think Charizard doesn't do well against Sheik, as far as I know, but maybe I'm wrong, because that was actually a pretty sick, sick conversion by Oracle. And, oh no, he was dead, there was no reason to back air, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Charizard's throws are actually really good, I can imagine in teams, they set up well for team combos. They're all quick, and, uh, are all DI mix-ups with each other, I think, uh, Forward throw and back throw? Okay. Fifi, correct me if I'm wrong. Forward throw and back throw on Charizard, are those, is that the DI mix up? Or is it down throw uh, and back throw? So, back throw is the only throw for Charizard that really combos. Um, forward throw doesn't really combo, but it can, oh, unfortunate team kill. Uh, it can put you in a really bad spot if you DI for the back throw. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it won't combo, but it'll like give Charizard a really good safe positioning. Is Ludge dead? No, he's not dead. Alright, so I don't know how long I'll be able to stick around. Hopefully, you know, as long as it needs to be. But my pool has sort of been called, I think. Yeah, we can probably get through grand finals. It wouldn't be too big a deal. Yeah. Um, do you know if it's double elimination or round robin? I think it's bracket pools. Okay. Uh, oh, snap. I am in hyperflex pool. Oh, boy. Yeah. Pools are so crazy, dude. Yeah. Alright. Okie doke. So, Grand Finals. And we see a uh, green team actually doing really well. And I'm not sure which one is Malachi and which one is Junebug, so I'm just... So, uh, the trend has been that Junebug has no tag and Malachi has the bird tag. Okay, I wasn't uh, sure, so I just didn't ooh, say... Great Needles, but chart, uh, Oracle makes it back. That's his name. I'm not sure why his tag is Bird. Uh, he came up with it during the set against Luck and Birdman. And he just kind of went with Ooh. it. Ooh. All right, fair enough. Yep. Oh, just sort of forward airing. Uh, Oracle just kind of letting it get fared and then get to ledge. Ooh. Oh, okay. DI was not great by the Lunchables, but... Oh, oh, weird things happening. That? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't think he checked it. Just the needles don't have a whole lot of hits done. They won't force you to attack. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. that's that's teamwork right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just roll all the way out of the way. Ambitious. You don't want to get hit by that. Oh, that was a gutsy uh, ledge deal there by Lunchables. Oh my gosh, things are happening. Okay. Oh man. Doombug's gonna be okay. <laughs> Oh, and that's it for Lunchables. Takes a bad hit and suddenly has to share a stock, and the stock has even. Yeah, uh, we got a Jim Bug looking uh, not too great, though. A lot of percent. It's going to make us really count. He's playing by the ledge. Oh. That was a really risky up smash. Taking more percent off the top. Wow. I think that was a full. Final Dam is a fun game. <laughs> oh, we tried to put some butter on that. Ooh, that was close. Oh, that's it. <laughs> what? Oracle just indiscriminately yeah, flare nothing, bashing everyone. Nothing to do there. What? Oh, God. All right. He, we need a commentator to replace him if he's going to go. Someone, someone needs to commentate. Well, it's it's round one, so it's holding things up. It's bracket pulls. They thought, and they're, like, getting mad. Yeah, find replacements for us. And oh, God. Czar. What about Pluto? Oh, he has, yeah, he's in our pool, too. Dang it. Everyone's in pool, so, like, we might as well just finish it out. Pluto, can you commentate? I know. Can I you commentate? Know. Okay, I need to go play, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Pluto. All right. Pluto is also a fellow Oklahoma player. He mains Ivy Solar. Made it on that honorable mentions. Hey. Uh, the summer PR, I believe. Yeah. yeah. I, I Though, technically, I'm from SoCal. No. No, yeah, that's where I was born in Orange. 
All right, but you're living in Oklahoma now. Yes, it's true. And you have for a while. Mm-hmm. That's true. Don't lie to the street, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you you you've seen Fools, right? Pools? Yeah. Oh, you mean Death Pools? You forgot the first part. No, yeah, Death Pools. Yeah. That's I crazy. mean, you'll probably make it out. I. Th yeah. You're seeding I mean, to at least. So. Yeah. I mean, that is. But unless... it doesn't mean that pools aren't ridiculously hard. No, yeah, because you know math works out poorly sometimes. It was just like I was helping Irish seed it, and it was like we would look at like the four seed and five seed of pools. It's like wow, they're only a four or five seed, and they're still like amazing. <laughs> like they're still like really good. They're ranked in their region and everything. It's just yeah. Like, see, wow. see, I'm gonna take that as a direct compliment because I'm five seed in our pool. Hey, let's go. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know if you've been watching doubles or not, but we've had Bunchables and Oracle make, well, they played in losers finals. They beat uh, the other Texas team, Birdman and Luck. Oh, really? Oh, he got back, really. And then, uh, I thought I thought Roy was supposed to be bad, honestly. You know? Roy? Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, we that's, saved him. That's literally all I hear about Roy from Roy players is how bad he is. Though, yeah, a lot, a lot of people like to say their character's bad. Well, I mean, oh. I say that. I say that I'm a Ganon player. Oh yeah, I I died at I died in E at 50. My character is awful. And then my my hard counter pick is Donkey Kong top five. Donkey Kong's punish game makes me mad. It no, triggers me. No, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Just like and it's so crazy good. And I, ironically enough, I watched more doubles before I left my house this morning to come here than one than when I got here. I, I tuned into the stream for maybe two minutes before I left, and Oracle and Ashen were on were on stream. Over luck and over luck and Birdman against someone, and they were talking about how there are too many girls at this venue. Uh, there, there are so many. Not really, but alright. <laughs> no, that's that's. There's like girls in general, I guess. How how dare we? <laughs> um, but that's, I see see. This I is just like I don't. So Malachi. Is an East Coast player just like Junebug. So we have mm. East Coast for South. Yes. Malachi actually plays Sheik and Peach, so this is an unfamiliar for him to play Sheik. June mains uh, Sheik and Melee, but he doesn't usually play Sheik and PM. Yeah, and they've just been going double Sheik, and they they made it to Grand to Grand's uh, winner side. So. Well, they're they're up by a they're up by a stock. I was about to say how much they were up by, and Lucky was lost a stock. I. Yeah. See, we should really stop talking about specific things. Oh, yeah. yeah. The whole time I commented with Flaffy, every time I said something good about a player, they would SD. <laughs> Legit. Like, you use your power for good. <laughs> I, I meant Ganondorf. That's impossible. I mean, he that's uses fair. his power for evil. So now Charizard and doubles. I've heard really good things about Charizard and doubles. Yeah, I was asking Flaffy what he what um, what he thought made Charizard good, and it's just like his throws are really good for team combos. He's heavy, so he lives a long time. Mm -hmm. And just in general, and his moves like are good for like comboing. Yeah, in teammate. in my region, Stillwater, we have a Charizard player named Ricky. And last night, even we were actually talking about Charizard and doubles. And the thing that and the thing that we kind of like came to the to the best consensus on is that his moves are really good for a two v one. Yeah, because he has a bunch of really big disjoints that especially cover a ledge really well. Like Charizard, just stand on ledge and nair. It's it's super safe. And also pillar combos, like. Like, he's calling out something. But I thought I heard my name, but I yeah, can wait. But well, well, if somebody's looking for us, I hope they know we're on commentary. If they want me, they can replace me. Yeah, yeah. but Charizard's pillar combos we also thought were really not susceptible to a lot of the to a lot of the bad things that really oh, wow. long drawn out combos are, mm -hmm. because Charizard can just kind of fall and get back in the fray if his teammate needs him or something like that. And also, it's and also from thinking about saving your teammate from a combo, it's a lot harder to follow Charizard into the air than it is to just walk to the other side of the stage and save your partner. Right. He actually moves in the air pretty well. Mm -hmm. Charizard, I I really think that Charizard is a lot better character than people think. Cause his he's just very underexplored. Oh Not yeah. Not a lot of people play him. Yeah. It's and the way that you kind of get good at Charizard really encourages you to drop him. Because <laughs> no, because even if you're super good at Charizard, you have all your movement tech down. Because Charizard's wave dash is incredible, and yeah, but it's just characters that fill his role that are yeah. Better. But you wander up, but you wander off stage, get hit out of your side B, and you're dead. Because <laughs> Charizard, because Charizard still sign, sort of has that same thing that Mennonite does. If he presses B in air, he loses all his jumps. Except, 
Also, if you get hit out of your side B or your up B, then you lose it. Just period. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know. Well, I, I said side B, but I meant down B. Down B only goes side to side, and up B only goes up to down. So in kind of that entire rest of the graph, if you get hit out of it, you're kind of just dead. And if that happens when you're trying to learn Charizard, then you, you really don't want to get, pick up Charizard anymore. Oracle just has all these characters that he can... Oh, that was almost oh. a really good game. Oh, yeah. And it's possible well, Yeah, Charizard. Oracle was just like randomly... Like he played Charizard last uh, game one, then he switched to Wario, and I feel like it was just because... Yeah, I know, I know like, Charizard is definitely one of the characters that I see him fool around with more often than others. Which which is fair. Charizard is super fun to play too. I dabble with Charizard because some of the kids in my region don't know how to deal with forward, with forward tilt. <laughs> oh, it's Charizard? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was sick. Okay. So not wanting to be Zelda in doubles. I can, I can, I can see understand. it. Yeah. <laughs> when you can press down B and be a Sheik. No, yeah. It, it's it's obviously not as bad as melee, where Zelda's best move is down B. But there's I think there's still an yeah. argument. <laughs> I think Zelda can be okay in teams with her fair and bare. And yeah, and she has a lot of interesting, she has a lot of really good disjoints. But her but like, her so s slow movement speed is a lot more of a liability in doubles than it would otherwise be. She's like Sheik is one of the better teams characters in melee, so of course in PM she's gonna be just as good. Yeah, just. Typically, typically the characters that are faster on the ground are just better in it in doubles in general. And the fact that Sheik has a has really good tools to kind of control space and keep the opponents where you want them to be just makes her that much better right. in doubles too. I like her tilt pop everybody up in the air just for like easy combos, like for you or your teammate. Oh yeah, and having the team of double Sheik, I'm just building a rich narrative of down tilt fair 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 <laughs> fair. And I, I haven't been watching doubles enough to know if that's actually happened, but I imagine that Junebug and Malachi would be able to do it if anyone could. <laughs> and it's not really a gameplay thing, but I think it's just so silly looking when Sheiks are doing fair to approach ledge. Just <laughs> way off screen, they're just fairing. I don't know. I do that sometimes too, I don't know why. It's silly. Oh, the Tether didn't reach him. This is looking uh, pretty grim for the green team. Tether's, well, not, Tether's not reaching her, my trigger. So, As an Ivysaur player, I can see it. Oh yeah. So, so fun fact about Ivysaur. Um, I'm not sure if you know about 3.3.5 Ivysaur's glitches with her tether, but there's still some glitches. Um, case in point, in Grand Finals of our Stillwater Weekly this week, I was trying to up B to the ledge, maybe a character length away, like I probably could have air dodged on. And the way that Ivysaur lets go at her third tether, she just let go at the first. Yeah, I've seen that happen with people. Yeah, it's Ivysaur is one of the characters that has a few things going on still. Oh yeah, she's she's awful. I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I was not ready for that response. <laughs> nah, see, see, you think Roy, you think Roy mains hate their character. <laughs> Ivysaur's bad matchups are all the characters people actually play. <laughs> Sheik, Fire Emblem, Spacey's. <laughs> They're, they're all not great. And even her really good matchups, like DDD and Ganondorf, I can still die at like three. At <laughs> three, wow. <laughs> no, like like Stomp Fair Fair, like on Battlefield, I'm dead. Yeah. See, we're, 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 having, a, we're having a melding of the minds here. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've played the matchup enough to know that. Mm -hmm. That's definitely how it goes. Yeah. So uh, Red Team here with a pretty solid lead. They're really just like, yeah, this is kind of the situation that we saw last game, but I think, but I think that, Char oh, wow. I, oh, I know that Charizard can live a really, really long time. So, eighty. Yeah, which is I, b I believe that's why the reason they probably went here. Yeah, though. Oh wow. Does he have? He does have down B. Okay, we tech those though. But the the thing that I the thing it's. And I know that Dreamland's Dream really. Land, yeah. I know Dreamland's really a mixed bag for this sort of thing because, sure, you survive, but it also takes a lot longer to kill. Yeah, it's kind of just dependent on the matchup. Oh gosh! I thought, okay. okay, I thought Oracle was done. He he was done it. He was done at Flunchables had laid had laid a bomb the bomb a little bit farther away. Because at that because at that point he had been needled once and just a second needle he would be dead. <laughs> Jim might just charging needles. Optimal. Okay, that's okay. He's, and is he giving up? Well, I mean, that's I don't what think, that's definitely that what it looks looks like. like. It almost looked like that wasn't on purpose. Because then he tried to recover after it looked like he was trying to kill himself. What's up? Hey. Well, I'll wait, I'll put it inside repeat. It's in my car. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you might need to use that. Okay. And, like, replace sticks. What is, is that better, Astro, to just, like, swap out the wheel? Yeah, if it can load it all day. 
Mr. Game and Watch. Right. Do you need the SD card? Yeah, yeah. That's just Or like just the SD card he has? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do that one. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't have the other one. Yeah. Okay, that, that's yeah. fine. We'll use that SD card. So. Just bring in the Wii. Okay, do you need me to do it right now? Uh, do you want to jump on? Okay, here. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Because I have to find Oracle cool, cool, so he's playing a bad. Bye, Kuda. I'll miss you. <laughs> hey, what's good, son? What's good? What's good? Um, well, I, I realized as you were looking for Kuda that the fact that we're in a couch means that people can't see us <laughs> from high level. <laughs> so, so I sat down here with I sat down here with a lot of confidence that if somebody was looking for me in pools, they'd be able to find me, and I'm just not sure about <laughs> that anymore. Okay. They, they definitely will not find you. <laughs> okay, so so me and Kuda were talking about less doubles and more the fact that I hate Ivysaur with a fiery passion. So so if so if you don't mind, I'd really like to pick up with that conversation. But um, look at this match. But look look at this great match going on. Right, we we got Game and Watch and Zero Suit Samus. I feel like a tumor growing right <laughs> at my Adam's apple. It's not that bad. <laughs> no, it's it's not that bad game. The way that a lot of people really, especially lately, yeah. but. Um, with uh, some certain tweets from us, uh, Juan de Badema, but um, feel about Game Ooh, and Watch. Good. I okay, think that yeah. I think that Game and Watch really is just an unexplored part of the metagame. That's rather than being unexplored as a character, people really don't people really don't quite know the counterplay. Yeah. Like the way that like oh get, oh Captain Falcon counterplays you throw him off stage and he's dead. <laughs> that's the whole counterplay you throw him off stage and he's. I mean, but you're not wrong. I mean, I'm Ivysaur. <laughs> Like, I, I know. might I might die at fifty to a knee, but he dies at three to back air. <laughs> like I I know I know in like you know some of these matchups like uh, Olimar Olimar doesn't do too bad against Game Watch. Uh, that was that was a really sick edge steal. Dude, to, yeah. I I really I really love it when people are like like have the cojones or in ladies' cases female hones female to hones. just like kind of, to just kind of wave dash back in between a Shino stall. <laughs> Because once you input, because once you input the up B, you're, because like, you, it's kind of just a flick downward immediately, and once you flick downward, you're you're caught in that trajectory. Yeah. And if you can't snap to the ledge, you just go straight underneath, like we saw a second ago. ZSS's is recovery sad. is busted. Why is she so good? Um, but she's I. So so, I to to address the the elephant in the room, as it were. How much does Lunchables play Game and Watch? It looks like not a lot because he's been. He's been really not doing well on his recoveries. I've and considering that this is game point, I, I am kind of, I don't know. How much do you think this means to them? Probably not a whole lot. I mean, like, I've never seen Lunchables play Game Watch. But then again, I don't see Lunchables, like, play a whole lot. So they could probably play him every day for all I know. Though though, though he does play a lot with Dakpo. And I understand oh. that Lunchables is some sort of a savant. And I know, me, I may be, like, 40% savant. 40%? No, I'm going to I'm going to come around, but like Marth is probably my fourth or fifth best character and that's just from playing against it so much. I mean, you're not wrong. Like at at that point, you might as well be. No, yeah. Well, cuz like well, cuz like there is a lot that you can learn from a character about their strengths and weaknesses by just trying to figure those out from the opposite side. Yeah. And I un and like typically the thing that I would say next is uh, it's like it's oh, but like you it's over. Yeah. That, they that's just GG's. But but to to finish my kind of thought before before we move on to whatever's next, um, there's you don't really figure out the tech from playing against it, but Lunchables is a different is in a whole different league from yeah. normal players.